Now with all the business news, here's Ms Alice Baxter. Thank you very much. Afternoon to you both and uh, afternoon to you at home. Now, the poor weather that we're experiencing, uh, well, we did experience rather in January, curtailed mortgage approvals while borrowers continue to play safe on loans and overdraft. According to the major UK banks, there were some 32,288 mortgages approved for house purchases during the month, down on December and 14% lower than January 2012. Well, the figures come from the British Bankers Association. Just 13,696 remortgages were approved by banks last month, the smallest number since January 1998. Well, let's talk now to David Dukes. He's the statistics director at the British Bankers Association. Good to speak to you. So, to what degree are these subdued figures down to the poor weather that we saw in January? Well, I think if you look at what householders do when they're looking to either move home or trade up or, or just see what the market's like, um, they, they go and look at properties. And if the, if the weather was bad and, let's, let's face it, it was seriously adverse weather in January uh, in terms of snow and, and floods, um, then it, it stops that activity and people put it off until you know, the following month or later in the year. And yet previous figures that we'd had in from HMRC had shown us like pick up in the mortgage market at the end of 2012 with increased interest particularly from first time buyers yes well i think you get monthly fluctuations you know from time to time in, in the year and uh, and uh, throughout the whole of last year then the major banks new lending their gross lending on mortgages has been uh, around the seven eight nine billion mark each month so you do get monthly fluctuations but the general trend has been very stable and around the this sort of eight billion pounds mark uh, which is a significant amount of, uh, of new money going out of the doors of the, the main high street banks. Does all this suggest that the government's funding for lending scheme is not having the impact that the government had hoped it would? Well, the funding for lending scheme helps, um, in, uh, helps the, the availability of uh, funds to be made available to consumers and to businesses. I think uh, what we've seen is that 2013 started the year just as very much as, as 2012 ended the year with businesses and households looking for greater prospects for their trading conditions to look at their customer base and their sales uh, projections and, uh, and um, waiting for better news of economic growth. And uh, Q4 was uh, a, poor month for, a poor quarter for GDP. Uh, people uh, are looking for that confidence factor to return to okay. give them the, the, uh, you know, the need and the, the ability and the, the want to go and look for, for more finance. OK, David Dirks from the British Bankers Association, many thanks uh, for those thoughts. Quick look at how markets are doing today. Of course, we've all been hearing about it, the Moody's downgrade. Uh, but there we go, the FTSE 100 up 0.6%. And uh, similarly positive news coming out of France and also the US up 0.3%. And there you go, the pound against the dollar flat at the moment. That's all from me. I'll be back in the next hour with a bit more from you. Thanks, Alice. You Thank you, Alice. Now, the great and the good of Hollywood, air-kissed and clinked.